truly can't think of a better venue than a Peony farm in Homer, surrounded by mountains, for an occasion that I know is not only monumental for these two, but for all of us who are lucky enough to know them as individuals, but even more so as a perfect pairing. Matthew, to be able to say that my first love is my last love is rare and special. Who knew that the boy with braces from Art Hallway at Service High School would be standing here today nearly 10 years later in front of all of our friends and family trying not to ugly cry. I already cried. <laughs> Failed. The first time I saw you, I remember that I couldn't believe how absolutely dropped at gorgeous the new girl who randomly showed up to Service High School one day was. I have dreamed about this day for so long, the day I finally get to say I am your wife. I didn't believe that I could find a person who would continuously remind me to love myself, to work harder, and to open my heart to the possibilities of this beautiful life. I can't believe we are finally here. I hope you are having an amazing morning getting ready with your bridesmaids. Who would have guessed that nine years ago when I introduced myself to you in the art hallway that we would be getting up in front of all of our friends and family in one of our favorite places in the world and officially, finally sealing the deal. Oh my! Oh. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> mm, I like that one. That's good. Jordan, you never cease to amaze me with who you are as a person, and every single day I thank God that you are part of my life. I swear I feel like with every passing day I fall even more in love with you. Finding your soulmate to walk through life with is the most important choice someone can make, but choosing to spend the rest of my days by your side was the easiest decision I have ever made. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. For Matthew and Jordan, that time came over nine years ago. I know how deeply these two care for each other and love one another, and I feel privileged to be here today among all of you as witness to their commitment to a lifetime of love for one another. Love is friendship caught fire. It is quiet, mutual confidence, sharing, and forgiving. It is loyalty through good and bad times. They say you find love when you are least looking for it, and it all makes sense now. You came into my life at exactly the right time, when I wasn't ready and yet when I needed it most. You held my hand through the journey as I found myself at my own pace. I have never faced life's challenges without your unconditional love. Even on the days I've struggled, when the future seemed so hard, not once did I have to walk alone. You make me a better person when I'm with you, Words will never be able to describe this. You have the bright smile that lights up a room and is so infectious to all those around it. I am so obsessed with your warm and kind personality that you consistently put others' needs before your own. Matthew, you are my calm, my soulmate, my other half, and the reason that I fight so incredibly hard to be the best person that I can. You have shown me what it means to live your life and love, to give up your heart fully, and to wake up every day with the hope of making it the best day. Your every dream and every prayer of a little girl come true. You're kind, adventurous, intelligent, your laugh is contagious, and you catch more fish than anyone I know. You choose to support my fishing addiction and even join me when it is torrential downpour conditions. Matthew Muffaletto, today I stand here making the easiest decision of my life. As your wife, I vow to respect, protect, and trust you, and give you the best of myself through the good and the bad, for I know that together, we will build a life that is far better than either one of us could imagine alone. I promise to give you all I have to make you feel like the most special person in the entire world, and to always be in your corner to support you no matter what. I vow to grow alongside you, but also to never grow up, and to love you more each day till we are old and wrinkly with smile lines. I also vow to always allow you to take bites of my meals or sips of my drinks, even if it bothers me at times. 
I hate accidents, except when we went from friends to this, uh-huh. That's right, darling, you're the one I want in paper rings. My heart can be your home. My soul can be your refuge. And I will love you in a unique and tender way. And I will offer you peace, ease, and comfort. I vow that I will choose you every day without hesitation. Not because I have to, but because I want to. I promise that you will feel protected and secure from the unknown things that come our way. I will also be there to encourage you to chase your dreams and aspirations as we continue to build our life around one another and to not be afraid of the unknown that lies ahead. I can't and don't ever want to imagine my life without you in it. I love you. With this ring, I am always and forever yours. Matthew and Jordan, it is with great joy that I now send you out into the world to spread your beautiful light you share with those around you. By the power vested in me, I now, for the first time, pronounce you Mary. The amount of love and beauty in the air today is a true testament to the love that Jordan and Matthew share and cultivate all around them. What impresses me the most about Jordan and Matthew, above all, has been their ability to grow together. To find someone compatible at age 15 and be both willing and able to embrace them as they grow from a child into a young adult is not only impressive, but so admirable. Matt has this ability where he makes everybody feel like he's genuinely invested in their lives. He'll have a conversation with you and you'll think to yourself, wow, this guy actually cares about what's going on with me. And I always ask myself, man, how does Matt make everybody feel that way? And I realized it's not because Matt just makes people feel like he cares. It's because he actually cares. I've never seen two people make each other happier and take care of each other the way that you two do. Matthew, I just want to let you know that you never heard this from me, obviously, because of, of, of our past relationship, but you are the nicest man that I've ever met in my entire life. And not only is it an absolute blessing to be able to call you my brother, my kin, but you're one of my best friends. These nine years that have passed, they have been through a lot together. They've proven they can stick together through thick and thin. They have an ease between them. I remember the first time I ever went skiing with Al at Alieska with Jordan. My first thought when I figured that Jordan was going to be there with us was, gosh, man, I really hope that Jordan can keep up with us. <laughs> and let, let me say, I have never been more humbled <laughs> in my entire life. Jordan is a badass. She kicked my ass that day. And I have learned ever since then never to doubt you and never to underestimate you. I think you guys are a match made in heaven truly and foremost. And I'm so happy to sit here in front of all of you today and congratulate Jordan and Matthew Muffaletto in a long and harmonious marriage. And can you please all stand here with me and toast to the foreverness. I'm not gonna be a flash.
flesh in the pan, or a flavor of the week. Not gonna. 